started. What is up, nerds, gamers, amateur movie critics? I am all those things, and that is why you are here watching Burke the Nerd. And uh, we are going to have the round two battle bracket results. It's been um, pretty enraging to watch the, this battle bracket unfold because uh, there's been just so many upsets. Uh, so many people that I think, like, I don't know if people pick them because they're popular uh, I don't know if people just don't know certain characters, but uh, some of them have been pretty surprising. I remember round one, some of the most surprising ones uh, were probably, oof, I mean, the fact that um, Mando almost beat Aslan, that was a weird one. Um, I'm just looking at them now, uh, the fact that... Um, Jake Sully beat Pikachu it was a kind of weird one for me. Uh, Bran losing to Toothless was also kind of odd. Uh, so there's been some weird matchups, right? Uh, I still think Harry Potter should have beat Luke. That's another one I'm salty about. Uh, but don't worry, there's still plenty of salty coming uh, for this one. So I'll just get right into it. I'll pull up the bracket. Uh, round one, we had, because uh, I only, I, I did an hour last time. And because there's half the amount of contestants, uh, yeah, remember Pikachu lost at the end of round one uh, to to Jake Sully from Avatar. He does have a dragon. He does have a massive dragon that he's riding. So I'll give um, I'll give him that. It's also Pikachu from Detective Pikachu, uh, not Pikachu from the anime, which obviously would be significantly stronger. A lot of people said kind of that was the uh, deciding factor there. So just breaking into the round two, uh, there's some weird results. Um, this one's a weird fight. Uh, obviously, Agent J has a lot of experience fighting a lot of different aliens and stuff like that. Uh, and I do want to pull up, actually, the uh, post so I can actually read off the powers I gave. Because I feel like sometimes people did make those decisions based off the powers they're seeing. So I want to kind of uh, read that out. An important thing I think we're also noticing is like... Um, and this will come into play probably later, is that I'm trying to put a, bring in the power set from just the certain uh, movies and stuff that we see. Uh, this one was weird. Agent J got a lot of support, and a lot of the support behind Agent J, the idea was that, uh, I guess, because he's taken out so many aliens in the past, so many, and he's got really powerful weapons, uh, that he maybe he can detect Toothless and he can take him out. Uh, we didn't see that happen. Uh, actually, Toothless won 12 to 5. Not surprised. Uh, honestly, I think he'd win. I don't know how many people would. What's up, Captain Pennsylvania? What is up, man? Burke is final. <laughs> Burke, the final the finale is going to be Luke versus Obi-Wan. You already know it. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if Luke and Obi-Wan push all the way through this battle bracket, beat everyone else, and then it's just Luke and Obi-Wan. And the fact is, right now, it could easily happen. Captain Pennsylvania, dude, I'm glad you're here, man. Uh, so uh, what we're doing today is from 5.30 to 6, we're recapping the battle bracket we've been doing, uh, which has been on our... Uh, no, this is just round two. So every week we've been going through and voting on Instagram, and then I go through it right before my Monday streams. Uh, and then we just go through what the results are of the round. I typically get enraged that certain things don't go the way I think they should have. And then uh, at 6, we'll get into our uh, topic, and I'm going to bring on a guest. Uh, we're going to basically be talking about the console wars, whether we think uh, Xbox or PS, uh, PS5 are going to be uh, successful in that. So that's going to be a fun conversation, too. Uh, do I have your IG? I don't know if you do. Um, it's it's actually right below my Twitch right here. So it's like if you scroll down a little bit, there's a little panel for my uh, Twitch. I'm usually playing D&D &D at six now. Fun fact, uh, Captain Pennsylvania, I created a system for Marvel uh, Marvel D&D. &D. It's uh, I've been a DM for a long time and uh, mostly in homebrew. I've deemed some five uh, five E uh, a while back, but uh but uh, I, I used mostly DM'd a homebrew system I made, and then I made a, uh, I wanted to play Marvel D&D, &D, so I uh, created a D&D &D, uh, Marvel system. It's kind of, uh, it's very homebrew, but it's, uh, it's, it's still fun. Uh, kind of my own little homebrew Marvel universe. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, you know what, maybe sometime I'll uh, create it, maybe sometime like I'll reach out to the people in like, the Den and Nerds community, we can get a little group together and try playing it. I will admit I'm a I'm a big time uh, uh, casual with it. So like a lot of stuff is very loosey goosey. Versus if you play like fifth edition, it's very like um, 
strict rigid so i don't play that way because I, I guess just the way i uh the way i grew up with it uh scotty summers <laughs> i like it dude uh, you gotta t what's your uh racing class i'd be interested um i played i played some 5e i was an air ganassi druid for a while um i played a um blood hunter which was fun for a little while that's a that's the matt mercer's like uh version i always like the homebrew stuff that's cool with me middle name is casual <laughs> yeah seriously um i have a feeling that uh i have to get into dnd because i hear a lot of people praising it stormbreaker you know i'll tell you what uh maybe someday i'll reach out to the denon nerds in the near future and we can set up a uh denon nerds marvel dnd and try out my i can show you guys my system uh problem is though if we do that you're gonna figure out that a lot of the comic stuff i'm gonna reinterpret because uh when you go too far into the comics you lose me and i don't remember it i don't know everything so um but no that'd be definitely pretty fun uh, to do that. It's cool story. Uh, Dragonborn Barbarian. That's sick. Oh, named Bronin. Yeah, I did see you say that in the uh, Den of Nerds chat. That's cool. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to go. Uh, so we got Hellboy won the first round. Uh, keep throwing this stuff in. I love D&D chat. Actually, I've been thinking about when I originally started this channel. I'm going to keep going on the track of it. Um, I wanted to do a lot of conversations about board games and D&D, too. Uh, I wasn't sure, I'm not sure how much the people that currently watch are like interested in that stuff, but if there's like, if there's room for it and people want to talk about like D&D &D or board games or something like that, I could totally start uh, talking about that a little more uh, in my content. I, I don't know, I just, I didn't know if anyone would be interested in it, so I didn't want to like bore, bore everyone. All right, yeah, dope, man. Um, all right, so let's go into the next one, if I can remember how to change the slide thing. Aha, okay. So the next fight, this is a weird one. Uh, you'd be into a Stormbreaker? Sick, sick, sick. We'll do that. Um, so the next fight was weird. I don't... It was King Kong versus uh, Hellboy. And uh, admittedly, I haven't seen the most recent Hellboy, which is where I power scaled him to. Um, I did do my research and make sure I, like, uh, gave him the right power set. But admittedly, I haven't seen that the most recent version of Hellboy. I know he's much more powerful than the original... Uh, than the original... Or the older Hellboy movie. But... Uh, which, uh, just to go through his power set, he's got uh, super strength, regeneration, heat resistance. He can turn into a big demon, which he basically can grow massive, have wings. He has control of lightning, fire manipulation. Like, he's got all of this stuff. I know it sucks, but uh, admittedly, I wanted to do him because I knew he was more powerful uh, than the older version where he's just hot like the pistol and he's a little more durable. Uh, so I gave him that version, and apparently he must have been even stronger than I was assuming. Uh, because everyone agreed he be beats out King Kong. It, he won 13 to 4. I voted for King Kong uh, because regardless of your power set, like, King Kong's massive. And I I don't know. Like, I would have thought that King Kong would have come out on top. Uh, but maybe he was even stronger than I assumed in the... Yeah, like, like King Kong's, uh, like, gigantic. Like, how does he... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I'm a little upset. My heart's a little hurt that uh, King Kong got knocked out early, uh, that early. But maybe there's something in it. We're going to see how the next round unfolds because that means that Hellboy's going to be going up against Toothless in the next one. And there's been a lot of fan support for Toothless already. So, uh, yeah, Skull Island, <laughs> Kong would have demolished him. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm, I don't know why. Um, I really don't know. I, I have no clue. I have no clue why it turned out that way. It was uh, Toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon. So he's the one. He's He's got, like, super speed. He's got, like, he can basically turn himself, like, invisible, uh, breathe, like, lightning. Like, he's got a lot of power sets, so he's, he's going to be crazy. Um, he beat out Agent J from uh, Men in Black. So it, it'll be interesting. Uh, he's actually the only animated uh, one. I was kind of weird. Yeah, he's a dragon. Um, he was kind of the only one that I animated that I added. Um, I, I just felt like he was, I felt like he fit more here than if I did like an anime or an animated, uh, uh, heroes or something like that. So I wanted to put him in here. I felt like he'd be a good fit in this group. Uh, you have to watch the, how to train your dragons. It is, it is really good. Um, it is really good. I haven't watched the most recent one. I think there's three now. Uh, I haven't watched the most recent one, but I, I do like it from everything I've seen. Uh, on the level tour story, a lot of people are saying that. It's got uh, really good uh, ratings. Yeah. All right, so I'll move on to the next one. Again, this is a weird one, but Hellboy versus Toothless is going to be weird. The next two are just like complete, complete knockouts, which is not surprising. Um, 
uh, if anyone had voted for Jack Sparrow, we would have all called them like, like senile or something. So uh, this makes complete sense that it went the way it did. Uh, Luke Skywalker completely obliterates 14 to zero votes. Jack Sparrow didn't stand a chance. <laughs> um, to just to uh, you know, uh, Jack Sparrow has a. Um, a plot armor to him. His his power is that really he just like survives. He's skilled at uh he's skilled as marksman, he's a skilled uh swordsman, but really like he's just lucky. And that's really more than anything. He's got drunken luck, literally. Um so yeah, I know Luke, he's my dad. <laughs> nice. Um <laughs> but yeah, Luke 14-0, no surprise there. I won't waste too much time on it. Uh but I'll tell you this much, he should not have beaten Harry Potter. Luke should not have beaten Harry Potter. Cause because like Harry Potter, ah, oh, oh my goodness. I can't, I can't do it. Harry, Harry Potter lost in round one to Luke. Um I'm upset about it. Harry can beat Luke. That's what I'm saying. Harry can easily beat Luke. I'm not saying it wouldn't be a good fight. I'm not saying that there's a chance that Luke could win, but I'm saying like at least seven out of ten times, Harry's beating Luke. But all the Luke Skywalker, all the Star Wars stands came in and they said uh, 14 to 6, they beat him in round one. So it, it's just, uh, and this is this is the start of my concern. Anytime you do a battle bracket, because the Den of Nerds did the same thing, right? Den of Nerds did the same thing. And it was like Luke versus uh, Luke versus Darth Vader at the end of their bracket, right? And so I'm like, I'm so upset because Luke's going to go up against Darth Vader at the end of this, and it's just going to make me upset. You know what would be funny? To do a Star Wars battle bracket. Because if you did a Star Wars battle bracket, everyone would be too too busy being like, oh, we got a Star Wars battle bracket. We're so happy to, like, oh, we want everyone to win because they're all Star Wars characters. And then you'd have uh, no winner. So whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you'd expect a patrol. It's like, oh, so so frustrating. So I'm really worried it's going to be Luke and Obi-Wan in the, in the finals. Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, so this is next one's an obvious upset too. I actually thought some people would vote for Neo. We're giving Neo the power set of the matrix. So we're talking like Neo in <laughs> Jar Jar would win that bracket. Yeah. Yeah, you would. Um, we're giving Neo the power set of, um, in the matrix. We want to give him those powers. I think Neo has a chance there. I think he has a chance, but, um, but Godzilla won it. And I'm not going to argue with those people, but Godzilla won 14 to zero. So there was not a single person uh, that thought Neo had a chance. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'd think that like maybe one out of 10 times Neo could take it. Uh, but I mean, apparently it's all Godzilla because like, I don't know. I mean, I guess you have to think like, how could you even kill Godzilla? Like, even if you um, had a ton of powers, if you're still like the size of a human confined to a lot of their strength feats, um, yeah, you run those issues. This is a weird one, guys. This is seriously, this next one's a weird one. Um, and this is Aslan versus uh, The Witcher, right? So we got uh, Gerald of Rivia. Geralt? Geralt of Rivia. I keep saying Gerald, and I've watched The Witcher, you know, play, like, I I don't know why I keep saying Gerald, <laughs> but I keep just saying it. Doesn't he have super, yeah, he does. So, like, I don't, I don't even know. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you why they did that, but they did it. Uh, and it, and that's just where we're at now. That's what we're with, dealing with. Um, but anyway, this is the weird one. Uh, Geralt of Rivia versus Aslan. Aslan is actually God, okay? He's actually God in their world. But I'll give you this. I did say a caveat that this is Aslan from the movie The Lion, the Witch, of the Wardrobe, not the books, uh, so this is from Chronicles of Narnia. Aslan's from Chronicles of Narnia. Um, I said specifically from the movies, okay? So that's an important context is that I did uh, I did give him uh, his movie strengths, okay? That being said, he's still a god in that, but we don't see him have, like, godlike feats, right? I mean, he still fights, you know, this witch like ice witch right and so you know you kind of would think that she's not he's not as powerful as a deity in that right uh kind of like gandalf like he's super powerful but uh he seems almost restricted in a way right he can only do certain things um 
Yeah, I think we will get that next Netflix, Netflix series. But regardless, you'd think, okay, he's probably a god. Witcher, he's got magical powers, but he still, like, struggles fighting, like, monsters, right? So, um, but I'll tell you what. This was the weirdest one. And one of those ones where people were raging. I was myself in there like, hey, guys, maybe you should think about this voting. Uh, but people in the in the in the in the Instagram voted how they wanted to vote, and uh, The Witcher won. Ger- uh, Geralt of Rivia won nine to eight. So Geralt's moving on to the next round. Geralt's moving on to the next round. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I mean, I I can't I can't say no. You're wrong. I'm not going to put it in. I have to do it. I mean, I know, I know. It's just crazy. Uh, so Geralt's moving on. And every time I put in, in big caps, I'm like, this is not a popularity contest. This is a battle. Um, but I don't know. I mean, the only argu- argument you could make is that in the movies, he doesn't show the strength feats, right? Because you have like, there's two camps on this. There's the, there's the what he's supposed to be able to do and what we actually see them do. And that's one of the conflicts when you're doing these brackets is you do, do you judge it as the same we did when we were doing the Marvel villains. We had a Marvel villains battle bracket uh, where we did the Marvel Cinematic Universe villains and we pit them against each other, right? That was the one before this. And, um, and we had to have that argument where like, do we go with what they can do in the comics or do we do what, like what we know they have capability of doing or do we know use only what we've seen in the movies. And ultimately, I think you have to go with what you can only see in the movies. But even if you do that, I still think Aslan takes it. So, But I do think it's closer if you only take it off his movie feats. Uh, but that was just my uh, two cents on that one. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, Cavill of Rivia is not on the level of Aslan. Come on, why are they stands voting on that bracket? <laughs> I know, I know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I do think it's closer if you take the movie one. But, uh, <laughs> but whatever. Uh but anyway, wait, go back real... I want to go back real quick uh, because I forgot to mention, this means that Luke Skywalker is going up against... Oh, jeez. Uh, Luke Skywalker is going up against Godzilla in the next round. If Luke wins that, I'm going to be upset. I just wanted to mention that. Uh, but anyway, who knows? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> so uh, Geralt of Rivia is going on to the next one. Uh, and then this one, I wonder who will win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people in the Den of Nerds one said they beat Goku, didn't he? I forget. Uh, so, uh, this one is Dumbledore versus Robocop. A weird one, a weird one. Dumbledore should obviously win, um, and he obviously won. Uh, 13 to 2, simple one. Uh, there's not really a lot of people that are, like, pure Robocop fans. No one's coming in and being like, I'm a Robocop fan. Robocop beats everyone. (laughs) No, no one really does that, but, uh. Dumbledore, uh, you know, he's in here. I actually expected to have Harry Potter fans come and support uh, Harry Potter because there's a lot of, like, Harry Potter stands, too, that are like, Harry beats everyone. But I don't know. This is what it is. Another, this is the final matchup, and I saved some time. My boy Robocop coming to Mortal Kombat. That's going to be fun, dude. That's going to be fun. So we're going to be talking about console wars, and we might get to that because I, I think, is Mortal Kombat a PS5 exclusive? I forget if Mortal Kombat's an exclusive, but I think it is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so we got like five minutes, and then we're bringing uh, we're bringing our boy Noah in for the uh, for that conversation. That's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna be playing some Valorant while we talk about it. That'll be a good, uh, but it's gonna be a good conversation. Uh, it's like five minutes, but uh, this is the last battle bracket uh, matchup for round two. Uh, the guy that played the dad in the tsunami uh, movie wins this one. <laughs> uh, uh, no worries, Captain Pennsylvania. Um, we do Mondays and Wednesdays at uh, six. Six uh, on Wednesdays, I typically is a more casual setting. Uh, basically, we just have like an open mic. I have a couple topics I want to talk about off the top, and then we basically go through whatever questions you guys have, and I'll and we can have deep discussions. Uh, last week we talked about Rick and Morty, uh, the new episode of Rick and Morty. We talked about, uh, what did we talk about? Jeez. Uh, we talked about some new Marvel news, and then we talked about, um, ah, Stormbreaker. If you remember, let me know. Uh, but also, Captain, uh, Pennsylvania, if you want, uh, I drop stuff 
<laughs> I love it. Um, we drop stuff. Big time rush. That was Monday. We talked about big, big time rush and the in the Nickelodeon cinematic universe. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I'm dropping all the content on YouTube later too. So I put it all on YouTube after the fact. Yeah, we were trying to. I was talking about how they could reboot the DCEU and what they should do. And I talked about how to make the Teen Titans and the Young Justice series as Marvel uh, as DC movies and how you would build that instead of the Justice League first. It was a really fun conversation. Uh, it got derailed to uh, Nickelodeon and Disney Cinematic Universes. It was a fun time. It was a big joke. Uh, but what we do is I put it on YouTube, and uh, after, typically a week or two later, it'll come. I'll put it on YouTube. I post it on Instagram when I do that. Um, I'll be putting me and Stormbreaker's conversation about how we would, uh, or what's coming on Phase 4 of the MCU. That's getting posted up tomorrow. So if you want to see the Marvel stuff with me and Stormbreaker, that's going up on YouTube on Monday. And then do I like the community streams? I love the community streams uh, when I can be there. Uh, I typically don't sit in on the storm uh, on the Star Wars ones. I just don't have enough to say. Uh, I'll put stuff in when I can on here, but it's it just changes. Uh, I'll let you know, Captain Pennsylvania, it's going to be going up tomorrow if you want to see the Stormbreaker one on YouTube. And then I clip it so you can watch like segments if you don't want to watch the full two-hour stream. Um, and then I've been trying to do the community streams and then, uh, I do my own stuff. Uh, and then, uh, I don't do community streams yet, but I have people on. So I had Stormbreaker on, uh, I had a couple other people on. And then, uh, so if you ever want to come on for a topic, um, I know you've been on the community stream before, so I've talked to you there. If you ever want to come on and do a topic, let's do it, man. I'm down hundred percent down. So we can set that up sometime. Uh, always willing, always ready. So, uh, just let me know. We can set that up. I've had Stormbreaker on a couple times. Also, uh, the DC one is a re was a really fun conversation. I basically walked through how they could do like four phases of DC movies, but focused on the uh, on Young Justice and Teen Titans. It was it was a really fun conversation. I'll put that up on theirs too. Um, if you have something, I know I'm in. I've never been on a community stream on the community stream. Yeah. So, dude, I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll share you. I'll like. Uh, we'll have a conversation. Maybe we'll do that through Discord, and we can start talking about it. Uh, let me just do a quick conversation uh, topic on this last uh, matchup because I'm upset because Sonic lost to Obi Wan Kenobi, and I don't. I get it was the movie Sonic, I get it was the movie Sonic, but come on. Even in the movie, he's basically moving slower, as slow, like almost as slow as time. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> He thinks you're Dan the man. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know if I've ever, I thought you were on once, but maybe I was wrong. Okay. Um, I've only been on the community streams like two or three times. So, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, um, listen, yeah, like I, oh, I'll check out your IG. Yeah, is it Captain Pennsylvania on Instagram too? I'll just follow you there. Oh, sick, man. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll follow you back. Yeah, so this is like ridiculous, okay, guys? This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring in my boy, and he can rage with me for the last like five seconds, and then uh, we're gonna get into uh, the console wars discussion. Um, I'll tell him he can hop on. And uh, honestly, like, what, <laughs> what? Why did Sonic not win that? I need to know because it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, how? how Sonic uh, could lose to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, I'm going to bring in... Uh, I'm going to bring in Noah here, also known as Snaps on the Twitch. What is up, Noah? How you doing? Hello. Hi okay. There. Made it just in time, I guess. See you, man. See you, Captain. And, dude, we'll have you on sometime. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, I just finished raging about the fact that people thought Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi could beat Sonic in a fight. Hmm. I mean, it's, I, I could see it. I wouldn't, I, I'd be, I'd be surprised, honestly, but I, just, I could definitely see it. I get it's movie Sonic and maybe he doesn't have as crazy of a moveset, but come on, he could still move like as slow as time almost like it just, and he could teleport. Oh my goodness. I'm just so frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yeah <laughs> yeah that's fair that's completely fair <laughs> just, I have, yeah i have nothing else to say on that i was saying so i have to just conclude with all the matchups 
Uh, and then we can go right into our console wars discussion. Movie Sonic is actually 100 times faster than the game. That's what I'm saying. He's even probably stronger. Um, so, okay, so the matchups for the next round are going to be Toothless versus Hellboy. That's going to be a super fun one to see uh, because that could go either way. That legitimately could, could go either way, especially if people are saying Hellboy could beat King Kong, which is another crazy upset. But I could see that could go either way. Uh, the the, uh, the second round matchup is going to be Luke Skywalker versus Godzilla. And... What upsets me is I know how this is going to go, and I'm already angry because people are going to vote for Luke Skywalker to beat Godzilla. Are you there? Are you upset? I'm, I'm sorry. I was, lo- I, was looking up, uh, I was looking up info for the uh, 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 you're Council good, Wars good. discussion, and I completely <laughs> stopped listening. Listen, what I'm trying to say is Luke Skywalker is going up against Godzilla, and I know that there's a ton of people that are going to go in there and they're going to vote for Luke Skywalker. <laughs> we're talking uh, We're talking Luke Skywalker versus Godzilla. <laughs> Laser beams taller than skyscrapers Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's another one where I'm like, you know what? It can go your way. <laughs> no, it couldn't. It totally could. Oh, come on. All right, that's fair. I'll let it go. I just don't want to see Luke Skywalker versus Obi-Wan in the finale. <laughs> that's not... It, uh, I, yeah, I know. I was, I, I popped, I popped into the stream for a couple minutes and I saw someone say that and I was like, oof, yeah, that, that would be, <laughs> I just don't want it. <laughs> that would be, that would be so toxic. Uh, <laughs> the den of nerds, yeah, the den of nerds, uh, <laughs> it's happening, Burke, dig it. I can't, <laughs> um, uh, it, they did a den of nerds, uh, which is a YouTube channel we love. Um, why would Danish yeah. hospitals get paid per Corona death? Numbers are bloated. No heart attacks registered since the, I don't. Oof. I don't know where that's where, coming from. Yeah, that's that's a that's for a completely different discussion. <laughs> I think that's our, I think you're in the wrong. Channel. But welcome, <laughs> but welcome either way, man. It's a welcome yeah, to the conversation, uh, man. It's good to have you. Yeah, we're not talking that shit right now. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so so um, I, I probably won't investigate. Um, <laughs> I probably will not investigate that. Um, but anyway, um. Yeah, so then the next matchup, yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, the next matchup is going to be Geralt of Rivia versus Dumbledore because Geralt beat Oslan, which is crazy too. Um, but that'll be an interesting fight. Dumbledore I should mean, definitely take that, that, but maybe, I don't know. That uh, Ger- Geralt versus uh, Aslan, I voted for Geralt for that as well. Um, yeah. I think that makes the most sense. I saw... I saw people, I don't know if you were one of the people saying this, but I saw some people be saying, well, Aslan is literally God. And right. to be fair, like, yeah, kind of, sort of. The way I remember The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Aslan was a uh, representation right. of God. But from what I remember about the line, the witch in the wardrobe, there wasn't anything that happened during the story that like presented Aslan with like a, a deity's powers. Right. Or ability. Um, I mean, I think, I think he like wrote, I think he like resurrected himself or something like that. Right. Like, towards the end of the story. And but, that's, like, a, that's a good argument. But yeah, like I don't, but, but yeah, like everyone knows, like oh aslan equals god because right. like in in school we learned that like the entire story was a very religious allegory right. written by a very uh you know religious uh you know author which is fine but like the character himself i don't right. remember being godly in, in yep. any way so, and that was know. the discussion that we had was uh the difference this is what we had to do for the mcu battle villains battle bracket is the same as here uh, is that we had? I had to pick a very specific instance of the character, so you can take only those reference points and use them for power scaling. Because if we took the MCU villains and we said, "Oh, well, how well they're much stronger in the comics," it's like, yeah, but there's also tons of instances of that, and we only want we need to. And we need to have one instance that we can reference and be like, "This is where that power is." So I think what a lot of people might have done. I think the fight is close, um, but I think what uh, I think I think only if you judge it by the movie, because you're right. In the movie, 
he is a representation of God, and he may, even if he gets resurrected or whatever, like he still we can only judge him by the powers that we saw within that universe, and that is in the movies. If we com- if we have the books, the books reference a higher power level of that character, and I think a lot of people have read yeah. the books and they know that. And it was the same with Gandalf, uh, where people are like, Gandalf's literally God. Be like, yeah, but we've seen only this power set. We can't assume other power sets and make a judgment from there. So I think it is closer um, than people are thinking. And I think a lot of people are like, Aslan's going to clearly win, but only because they're they're judging from the book version. Um, Now, Stormbreaker made a point that they're going to be making a... um, Uh, I think Stormbreaker is getting it in the conversation. Um, uh, Storm, Stormbreaker, uh, that's funny. Uh, no, but I think, um, I think like it was the same conversation there. We really can only go uh, from one instance, and we have to judge it from that. Uh, you, you can't really uh, say, well, we think that he can have this, because like, well, we didn't see it, so we don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, Gerald, uh, Gerald Rivia versus Dumbledore, that's going to be a fun fight, I think. I feel like I have a winner in my head, but I'm not going to, you know, go too far into it. And then we have, um, oh, I actually didn't do the last result. Sorry. There was one more fight, and it was Ooh. Jake Sully versus uh, T-800 Terminator. And surprisingly, Terminator won, despite despite Jake Sully beating out Pikachu. So that was a weird fight for me, uh, but it is what it is. Um, and that means that uh, T-800 will go up against Obi-Wan in the, in, the, in the last matchup. And that'll be a fun one to watch, actually. Uh, another Ooh, another yeah. interesting fight. Uh, again, who knows? Uh, probably be Star Wars people to the end. Um, but anyway, uh, that is the end of that discussion. Uh, I look forward to seeing the uh, the voting on that. And then again, we'll have the round three results on next Monday's stream. Um, and yeah, so that'll be fun. I'll be back. Stormbreaker, we'll uh, see you in a second, hopefully. All right. Uh, so I'm going to start booting up the game. <laughs>